Welcome to episode six of our series on the treatment of upper limb ataxia, home modifications and adapted equipment. Throughout this series, we started with remediation strategies, ways to improve upper limb ataxia. We then pivoted to compensatory strategies, ways to offset the problem. We're going to end this series looking at adapted equipment and home modifications. There are no paid promotions. However, if you have found a certain piece of adapted equipment to be helpful, please comment and share with others below. Your contribution can really make a difference in the lives of others. So let's jump in and look at some adapted equipment and activity modifications that might be helpful. Adapted equipment and home modifications. First, swing away or offset door hinges. Narrow doorways, especially in bedrooms and bathrooms, present a challenge for anyone using a walker or a wheelchair to navigate the home, especially when we have a lack of coordination from ataxia. Widening the opening is often expensive and time consuming. However, swing away door hinges or offset door hinges can give you a cost effective alternative solution to widening those doorways in any home. These type of door hinges are designed to move that door completely out of the opening, creating an unobstructed opening that makes it so much easier to maneuver walkers, wheelchairs, and crutches through doorways. In many applications, through installing these offset door hinges in place of a standard hinge can add almost two inches of usable space. Nighttime toileting can be really scary as individuals are at a high risk for falls when their vision is occluded. A few options include using a bedside commode. It can be helpful to put commode liners or garbage bags on the inside, as well as a solidifier. One can use cat litter as an option to solidify the urine. Automatic air fresheners at night can also be really helpful. For pericare, attachable bidets can be a fantastic option to help with thoroughness. For males, urinal bags can be so helpful. This is because inside the bag itself, there's a super absorbent pad. Those pads can convert body fluids into a gel, so there's no more mess or risk of spilling urine in the bed. For nighttime, there are timers, clapper lights, voice activated, motion censored, strip lighting, and toilet bowl lights. For oral hygiene, when individuals with ataxia have severe tremors, it can be so difficult to put the toothpaste onto the toothbrush. For these individuals, they may need to take the toothpaste and put it directly to the mouth on the front teeth, skipping that step. An electric toothbrush may be really helpful. An individual can also reduce their tremors by standing against the wall, propping their arm against the wall, and stabilizing it to counteract any tremors. For grooming, there are many models of hands-free hair dryers. These can be on stands or suction cups on the wall. For upper body dressing, managing buttons can be really difficult. An individual may want to try the pullover technique, where they button the shirt ahead of time and then put it on like it's a pullover shirt, transition to a Velcro button conversion kit, purchase clothing with magnetic buttons, transition from clasp bras to sports bras. For lower body dressing, transitioning to Velcro button conversions or magnetic buttons. And when individuals struggle with their pants falling to their knees, they may wanna try a pant clip. You can find a video of pant clips listed in the description below. When it comes to lower body dressing with shoes and socks, there's a few recommendations or suggestions to consider. A friend of mine with ataxia recommended grip socks with toes and or straps. This is because as she's walking, the grip socks tend to slide off. Therefore, having the toes or straps helps those grip socks remain on her foot. When it comes to managing shoes, tying shoelaces can be so difficult, especially with tremors. Therefore, there are some other options. One is elastic shoelaces. There are so many types and models to look through, but some of them, as seen in this picture, look just like real or regular shoelaces, except you keep that knot tied. Magnetic shoelaces are another option. However, I am cautious about recommending this for individuals who are ambulatory, who can walk with ataxia. This is because as we walk, if the toe of one foot 
catches the heel of the other, the magnetic shoelace may pop open, so just be very cautious. A third option for individuals who have Velcro shoe straps, it can be helpful to go ahead, drill a hole, and add something like a key ring that can give you something to grasp when opening or closing. For eating, individuals may want to switch over to large ladle spoons or serving spoons, using two-handed cups with non-spill lids, and perhaps rocker knives to help with cutting. When it comes to bathing, pump bottles can be so helpful for individuals who struggle with tremors. It can be so difficult to transfer shampoo or conditioner from a bottle with a lid into the other hand. Therefore, you can transfer conditioner or shampoo into an empty pump bottle and use that instead. When it comes to managing bathtubs, there are bathtub conversion kits out there. This is one example. There's many companies to explore. Another option is a bathtub transfer bench. Part of the bench is inside the bathtub and the other part is outside the bathtub. Therefore, you can sit down and swing your legs over in a seated position. I personally like the splash defense models as it has a slit for the shower curtain. And for showers, there are shower chairs. To prevent slipping, individuals can purchase anti-slip shower strips or stickers, or maybe wear water shoes. It's really important to get sturdy grab bars and be cautious against any suction cup ones. One can put grip strips on those grab bars or on other things such as railings outside or on their walker to prevent slipping. Or putting rubber bands around things bottles to prevent those bottles from slipping right outside of our hands. There are many companies that provide adapted clothing resources. Here is a list of a few examples. If you have any, know any, or use any other adapted clothing resources, please share by writing in a comment under this video below. And those are some ideas of adapted equipment and home modifications for individuals with ataxia. And that was episode six of our series looking at adapted equipment and home modifications that might help with cerebellar ataxia. If you found this video educational or helpful, please like below, subscribe, and share these free resources with others. My link to Patreon is in that description below. And then check out other free educational videos and free home exercise programs here on Little Steps, Big Gains.